Hi, I'm Teresa the Traveler, and today I'm getting a tour of the historic O'Keefe's Ranch. Right now, I'm going on a walkabout with Ken. He is the curator for the ranch. Yeah, the O'Keefe family used to live in here, and in the summertime, they'd let the downstairs be open and they'd do guided tours through it. So Tierney O'Keefe was the son of the founder. He was born in 1911. And when I first got here in 1984, we had white clear bulbs in here. And uh, Tierney O'Keefe said, oh no, there's a special secret. So he came with a shopping bag and a stepladder and changed all these lights to this lovely sort of orange glow. And only after many years did he reveal it. It's actually clear bulbs that he painted a crystal lacquer on and they go kind of orangey and it leaves a beautiful tone in here. Uh, unfortunately, they've all burnt out and we haven't been able to find any crystal lacquer. To... So the dining room has some of the real treasures on the ranch. Uh, the best of them, of course, would be the mice and porcelain. And if you take a look, you can see there's actually about 120 pieces in the set. And every one of them is hand painted, so no two are alike. Uh, and Meissen is the very finest of European porcelain. So our German visitors come here and they're really impressed because this is, this is the real thing. In Germany, royalty or uh, nobility are the only ones who can afford to buy Meissen. It's really expensive stuff. This is the boys' room. And of course, you must keep in mind the rooms were changed many times over the years with the different kids. But Faber O'Keefe was the eldest son from Cornelius and Elizabeth. And he was seven years old and he caught spinal meningitis. And he actually passed away in this room. And there are those who say the ghost of Faber is still in the house and very much associated with this room. Okay, this is the school room. The O'Keefe kids, after Faber died, took all their schooling right here because that way they wouldn't catch diseases that other kids would bring to school with them. They had a governess who lived in here, looked after the kids, and basically was a live-in school teacher as well. And the amazing thing is that every once in a while people get a glimpse of a lady in white in the house. And the lady in white, we think, is the governess's, governess. And so she's still here. Uh, and we have strange experience where this door unlocks itself uh, when we're least expecting it. This is the master bedroom. Uh, Cornelius O'Keefe and his uh, various wives uh, would have occupied this room. And you can see that it's really got some lovely furniture. This camphor chest uh, comes from China. It's all hand carved. And there's some of Elizabeth O'Keefe's silver uh, on the dresser. You can see her initials carved in the back of the hairbrush. The nursery is in here. And as you can imagine, Cornelius O'Keefe had nine children by his first wife and six children by his second wife. So there was a nursery in occupancy for probably about a 35 year span. We're just entering into the guest room. And it's really the prettiest room in the house. It's got windows all around. And people say, well, why didn't they use this for the master bedroom? But the fact of the matter was that Cornelius uh, was smart enough to know that in the summertime, this room heats up like a furnace. And in the winter, you're reaching for covers because it's cold with all the windows. And of course, no storm windows in those days. So they would give it to the bishop when he came to visit. But his visits were always short. Okay, this is the sewing room. What would happen is every year, they would have a seamstress who would come twice a year and they would have picked out the clothing they're looking for out of catalogs and sewing books, and she would sew the clothing for the whole family and work on this sewing machine. The parlor was the place where children were seen and not heard. Uh, they were allowed in here only on their best behavior. And you can see a five-piece seating set in here that belonged, was bought by Marianne O'Keefe, the first wife in 1892. And it's been in this room ever since, except for a couple of trips to the upholsterer. We're just about to go into the log house, which is the oldest building on O'Keefe Ranch. So the log house was built in about 1877, and the family lived in this before they moved into the lovely mansion. And they were the very first sort of settlement in the North Okanagan. This was the scene of the, of the first post office, and this was the stagecoach depot as well in the early days. All right, we're going into the general store. The general store would, uh, at O'Keefe Ranch was the very first one in the Okanagan Valley. And of course, the original store was quite a bit smaller than this. Uh, but when the O'Keefe family opened the place to the public in 1970 or 67, they had a new general store constructed out of uh, lumber they salvaged off the ranch. 
where they could put their wonderful collection of antiques. Okay, let's have a look at St. Anne's Church and see what it looks like inside. This little church was built in 1889. It was the first Catholic church, or the oldest Catholic church in the North Okanagan. And uh, O'Keefe was a, a good Irish Catholic. Uh, his father was from Ireland and he was born in Eastern Canada. And so this little church has seen a lot of years and many, many uh, weddings, funerals, whatever, all of the things that uh, are associated with the church. This was the cemetery for the whole North Okanagan, all the Catholics in the North Okanagan. And, and you can see the uh, O'Keefe family is well represented here. Originally, Cornelius O'Keefe just had a large stone sitting where he'd been buried. And it, he died in 1919, but it was actually the 1990s before he got a headstone on his grave. This is Faber O'Keefe's uh, headstone here. You can see he died in 1908. Well, thank you very much. That was an incredible tour. Well, thank you. And just to remind people, we're open from Mother's Day till uh, the end of September every year. And there's lots of history to explore and uh, discover at O'Keefe Ranch.